It's not enough to make a discovery. It's not enough to start a company. You have to find a way to keep the company going and keep it out of the hands of the people who want it as a money-making exercise only if you want to do what the microbe hunters did, change medicine. So I started work in immunology and I wanted to understand at that time, 60s, how the development of an organ called the thymus leads to the development of a part of the immune system. In tracking that immune system back to its origins, with only 20 years of research, we found the ultimate cell that gave rise to them was the blood-forming stem cell. Formed a company right away to be able to scale up identifying, isolating, and then transplanting blood-forming stem cells in patients. In the middle of my company doing those trials for breast cancer at Stanford, for lymphoma in Nebraska, for myeloma in Lyon, France, it was bought by a larger company who made a business decision to shut down everything. I gave away all my stock and negotiated on Stanford's behalf. And we now have, only at Stanford in the whole world, the antibodies that we use to isolate the stem cells, the mechanism to do it clinically, the approval, pre-approval by the FDA to go ahead, and together with the hospital and the medical school, we've raised money for a facility to scale up the isolation of cancer-free stem cells. So we've devised a set of antibodies which replace chemotherapy, which when given to the host in an outpatient setting can delete the immune cells that would reject the graft and delete their own sick stem cells so we can replace them with healthy stem cells. So our vision for translational medicine, which now covers pediatrics, adult medicine, surgery, and this is before we even get to the antibodies, is to make only at Stanford the major place for beginning clinical trials to proof of principle in each of these areas. I grew up thinking that you don't just make discoveries for discoveries case, you do it so that you can think about how it would translate to medical benefits for people.